it's all mine, baby. <laughs> Hippie Halloween. Yeah, I love a good Halloween. I just love it. Yeah, makes me feel, makes me feel beautiful. Yeah. Everybody else puts on their masks to get ugly. And I get to take mine off. <laughs> yeah, we're a very, very beautiful family, me and my brother there. That's Charlie Chin. Yeah, we're from the Chin Chin Dynasty. They were going to base, you know, the comic Tintin on our family, but we wouldn't give them the rights, so instead of calling it Chin Chin, they call it Tintin. True story. Yeah, yeah, the Chin Chins. I know the Chin Chins. Very, very beautiful family. Some, some of the best people. Some of them, some of the most amazing people I, I, I've ever met. They're, they're like the finest people. <laughs> Is that you there, President Trumpkin? Why we haven't spoke since you came and did that interview down at Radio Ardeno? You know that that pirate radio station. Hey, how, how's it been going there, President Trumpkin? Oh, oh. Radio Ardeno, oh yes, I remember you guys, you're like some of the worst people I've ever met, some of the most abysmal people, like like you're total like fake news, and I don't know how many times I've like had to tell you this, but like I do not look like a pumpkin, I'm Peach. Oh, that Trump gives me the creeps, every time he speaks it, it's as if this insect's crawling all over my naked flesh, I don't like it, I don't like it at all, it's horrible. <laughs> Or <laughs> a bit creepy that he is. I'll give you that, mate. In fact, he'd be like a modern-day pirate. In fact, I'm sure he flies the skull and bones flag, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> pirate, you say? <laughs> well, a pirate pretending to be God can be eaten by Poseidon. Yeah. But that Trumpkin's a bit frightening. So I'm out of here, boys. I'm out of here. Bye. It's extremely exasperating how expensive existence has got in today's economic reality. I mean, how exactly did these egomaniacs get in power? I'm, I'm tired of walking on eggshells. It's, it's exhausting. Exactly, mate. The world's filled with aggression. Oh, don't fear your personal economic downfall from today's existential existence. I know an experimental magic trick that can make this shit go away. It's simple. You simply take two puffs and then pass. Well, thanks, man. That's, that's exactly what I need. Hey, man, this is, this is extremely good stuff. Excellent. Oh, hey, hey, come on, lads. Stop egging each other on. You're scrambling my brains. I mean, it's extremely exhausting and it's no fun when people can make a complete yoke out of your entire existence. And you know, he did say puff, puff, exhale, and then pass. I want to get fried too, you know. You're supposed to set an example. Whoa, whoa, calm down, man. There's no need to explode. We're just expressing ourselves. I mean, it's extremely easy to see who came first, the chicken or the egg. Look, look how look how quickly you got so excited. I bet you were a, a premature birth. Actually, I came first. But, but then I would. I had an egg up my butt. You should try it sometime. But you're a chicken. Oh, wow. How exhilarating. That sounds extremely experimental. I mean, what exactly happens if it, if it explodes? <laughs> it must be ecstasy. <laughs> oh, yes. That sounds a bit tricky and pretty damn sticky. I think I'll beat a hasty retreat from that little trick or treat. Now the trick is for you to treat me to a subscription or two by going over to YouTube and subscribing to Cannabis Ted. And then you can do, if you don't so choose, go over to, to my Facebook page and give it a like and follow before I take myself down to that sleepy hollow where I'll wallow in the wonder of it all. This 
existential existence of mine. Well, he's going to hell. That was a shameless plug. Shameless plug. Ah, like and subscribe. Follow and like. Ooh, hit that bell or you're going to hell. Well. Yep, expelled to hell for the shameless cannabis Ted plug. But the egg-shaped butt plug, hey. <laughs> that was good, bud. Some of that, Louis. <laughs> yes, it was extremely good. And this is extremely good, bud, too, bub. Alien abduction. Oi, here we go. I knew we'd get dragged into it. You know, it's because of characters like this cannabis Ted here. The, the way we haven't came down. You know, we did, we did go out seeking out intelligent life and new civilizations. And we came across this little creation. We had no hesitation in thinking, no thanks. Keep that one. Oh yes, let's hope that there's intelligent life somewhere up there because there's none left down here on Mother Earth. Snappy Halloween, everyone.